In this lesson, our objective is to solve rational equations. Prerequisite knowledge needed for this lesson. Factoring, determining LCD, and applying distributive property. Let's have the first example. Solve for x. 1 over x plus 1 is equal to 2 over 3x minus 4. So our first step is to find the LCD. Since the denominators are already prime, the LCD is the product of these two denominators. So step 2, let us multiply both sides by the LCD. So let's copy the given. Let's multiply the LCD on both sides. Now, remember that our LCD is in the numerator. The denominator of that is the invisible one. So if we have x plus 1 in the numerator and x plus 1 in the denominator, this will be canceled out, leaving us with 3x minus 4 times 1 is still 3x minus 4. Copy equals. On this side, 3x minus 4 on the numerator and 3x minus 4 in the denominator will be canceled out, leaving us with 2 times x plus 1. Next, let us apply the distributive property. So we simply copy this, 3x minus 4 equals 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 1 is positive 2. Next, let us combine like terms. So 3x, 2x, moving to the other side, will become negative 2x equals, copy 2, negative 4, moving on the other side, will become positive 4. Then we simplify. 3x minus 2x is x equals, and 2 plus 4 is 6. Finally, let's do some checking. For checking, all you have to do is to substitute the value of x to the original equation. So, copy 1, replacing x with 6, copy positive 1. Then here, copy 2, copy 3, replace x with 6, then copy minus 4. The question is, are they equal? So, let's see. So, this is 1, 6 plus 1 over 7. This is 2. 3 times 6 is 18. 18 minus 4 is 14. Are they equal? So, this is 1 over 7. Lowest term of 2 over 14 is also 1 over 7. Therefore, they are equal. So, it means x equals 6 is correct. Let's have the next example. Oh, it looks difficult, but it's not. First step, find the LCD. Now, in finding the LCD, factoring is important. The factors of x squared minus 16 are x minus 4 and x plus 4. Notice that the factors are the same with our denominators here. So this will be our LCD. Next step, multiply both sides by the LCD. So let's copy the given, multiply with the LCD on both sides. Now, the factors of x squared minus 16 are x minus 4 and x plus 4. So this will be canceled out. What is left? x minus 5. Copy plus. Next, for this fraction, LCD multiply with this. So x plus 4 will be canceled out, leaving us with x minus 4 times 1. So still x minus 4 equals. Now on this side, we have x minus 4 and x minus 4 cancel. 1 times x plus 4 is still x plus 4. Let us combine like terms. So we have x, positive x, x on the other side becomes negative x equals copy 4. Let's move negative 5 becomes positive 5. Let's move negative 4 becomes positive 4. So these are variables and these are constants. Next, we simplify. So positive x and negative x cancel. So we have x equals 4 plus 5, 9. 9 plus 4, 13. And finally, checking. 
and I leave it up to you. Let us have another example. Let us find the LCD. So x is prime, x minus 1 is also prime. Then for 4, no other constant, so I'm going to make use of 4 as well. The LCD is the product of these three denominators. So my LCD will be 4 times x times x minus 1. And then multiplying both sides with this LCD, let's copy the equation. Multiplying both sides with the LCD. Other students are having difficulty multiplying in this manner. So what you can do is to distribute the LCD on each term. So like this. So I have the LCD, this one, multiplied with 6 over x, copy minus, LCD again, multiply with 9 over x minus 1, equals, then I have here 1 fourth multiplied again with the LCD. In this manner, you can easily see which can be canceled out in each group. So for this group, we can cancel out x, not this x but this x and this one. So we will be left with 4 and then x minus 1 and then 6. Now for this one, we can cancel out x minus 1. Copy minus, then we have 4x times 9 equals, on this group, we can cancel out 4. So we have 1 times x, times x minus 1. Then let's apply the distributive property. I'll start with the constant first. 4 times 6 is 24 times x minus 1. And then have minus 4x times 9 is 36x equals 1 times x is x, x times x is x squared, and x times negative 1 is negative x. I'll distribute 24. 24 times x is 24x. 24 times negative 1 is negative 24. Copy negative 36, then I'll copy the rest. Next step, I'm going to transfer everything on the other side. So I'll copy this, negative x squared minus x, followed by 24x, transfer to the other side becomes negative 24x, then negative 36x to the other side, positive 36x. And lastly, the constant becomes positive 24. Since nothing is left on this side, this will be equal to 0. So 0 equals, we still have x squared, negative x minus 24x is negative 25x plus 36x is positive 11x. Copy plus 24. So 0 equals, we have a trinomial here, so it seems factorable. The factors are x plus 3 and x plus 8. Quick check on the factors, 3 plus 8 is 11. That should be the middle term. And 3 times 8 is 24. That should be the third term. So meaning the factors are correct. Finally, you equate each factor to 0. So, x plus 3 equals 0. x equals negative 3. I'll have it x sub 1 because I have two x's here. And then, x plus 8 equals 0. That would be x equals negative 8. For the checking, you just have to substitute each value to the original equation and find out if two sides will be equal. Gets?